Hey everybody and welcome to episode 34 of Estate Planning TV. I'm your host, Christopher Small, and this is the internet's most passionate show about estate planning. What's up? Welcome to the show today. Today I want to talk to you about something that is um, that I see come up over and over and over again uh, with clients and, and with people asking me questions, with things going on, and um, it's a short answer. It's a, it's a it's a simple answer, but I think it's something that needs to be said specifically. And, and hopefully, if you are um, first of all, if you're watching this video, if you're finding this video by searching for it, you know I want to um, let's back all the way up. The question that we're answering today is new trustee, what to do first, right? So you've be, you've recently become uh, the trustee of a trust, and now you're wondering what do I do, right? What do I do first? Uh, I want to start off by saying, you know, um, sorry for your loss, because most of the time when you become a new trustee, it's because the old trustee is either uh, has passed away in most cases, right? The person that's that has created the trust has passed away, and now you're stepping in to carry out the role, the duties of the trustee for this trust. And, um, you know, when this happens, there's, there's a lot of um, stuff that's going on sort of outside of your duties as trustee, right? This is probably someone that you care about that you've lost. You're having to deal with the emotional side of the loss. You're having to deal with the logistics and the just the the, the things that need to be taken care of to, to take care of them, you know, and, and to take care of the rest of the family. Now you're, you have this role as trustee. You're not sure what to do, right? There's money out there. There are bank accounts out there. There are things that need to be done, and you're just not sure where to start. So this is where you start okay step one before you do anything else get the trust read the trust okay um, you're wondering about who who is supposed to do what um, what money is supposed to go where who is even involved in the trust the trust document itself is going to tell you everything that you need to know to be the best trustee that you can be all right it's going to tell you um, who gets something specifically given to them right away. It's going to tell you um, if money needs to be held uh, in trust for a long time. It's gonna tell you who the other beneficiaries are and the circumstances upon which they are uh, entitled to distributions. It's gonna tell you everything that you need to know. And most importantly, it's going to also tell you if separate trusts are to be created. It's going to tell you if separate shares within a trust are to be created. It's really gonna give you the framework and the foundation and the direction that you need to make sure that that the person who created the trust, that their wishes are carried out, all right? So step one is read the trust. Um, I can tell you, when you read the trust, you're probably gonna be confused or you're going to be uh, um, overwhelmed, all right? The trust itself is, is a legal document. It's full of um, legal language, right? It's full of references to the IRS tax code and other statutes. Um, uses legal terminology that you may not be familiar with. That's okay. Just give it your best shot. Read it all the way through. Okay. Try to find the parts that are really critically important to moving forward. And if you don't understand the rest, then ask for help. Right? We help with trust administration. Uh, there are many other estate planning attorneys out there that do the same and would be happy to help you sort of through this initial period of getting everything set up and done correctly, all right? And it's important to do that because you can have long-term um, effects that, that are unintended that you don't even know about. Perfect example, before I let you go here today, you know, I had somebody come in that um, their father had passed away and the mother had passed away previously. They'd created a trust. He's the new trustee and he needs help getting everything organized, figuring out what to do, and he thinks that there's gonna be some state estate tax due because of the size of the estate. Well, I get in there and look at the trust, and it turns out that the that um, his parents had actually done some decent planning and um, could have or, or may still be able to potentially save you know $250,000 in estate taxes. And uh, the problem is no one had ever really read the trust. You know, when the first of the two uh, of the couple had passed away, they didn't create separate trusts and they didn't do some things that they, they should have done. That doesn't mean that we can't go back and fix it. We might be able to, but reading the trust is critically important, right? So read the trust, get some guidance if you need it, 
um, and then rely on what that trust says to help you through this process. All right, so thank you once again for being here. I'm Christopher Small. I'm the owner of CMS Law Firm. I love estate planning. I'm passionate about it. I love talking about it. I love helping people. And uh, I hope that uh, this video has helped you. All right, if you uh, have additional questions or need help in the future, you can always call the firm, 206 659 1512. You can also always email me, chris at cmslawfirm.com. I'd love to help you out and uh, would love to uh, answer any questions that you have. And you know, this is what we do. All right, so thank you for your time. Can't wait to talk to you again next week.